No, he uh, did uh, pu uh, something akin to public nudity. Mm. Okay. Was he masturbating in a movie theater? No. Okay. I know, I know another actor who got in trouble for that. Wait. Which one was he? Louis C.K. That was it. <laughs> So what a <laughs> this <laughs> did really turn into a bit of a fish out of water story, huh? Pretty good stuff. Yeah. How often does Luffy get his hat stomped? It's only been attacked like three or four times in the whole show. It's not often, I'll tell you that. Like the only notable uh, time in the show itself was when Buggy stabbed it. And yeah. uh, Nami was able to stitch it back together. And they, uh, they do some nice consistency in that regard, because you actually still see uh, the stitch marks on his hat in the anime to this day. Oh shit, I didn't know it was that. But they're supposed to anyways, they might not do it every time, because you know, Toei is kind of bad about that. Yeah. But in the manga anyways, you still see the stitch marks. Doesn't Chopper have a similar thing? No. Like, I swore, like, one of, like, I think it was his hat that, like, had a detail on it, where, like, it got damaged, it got repaired, so it's still there today. So I could be mistaken. Note the needles would cut Luffy lifespan. Luffy questionable lifespan begins here. Hello, crocodile. My boy. The dude, the man. What a king. May have been a queen once. We'll get to that. Uh, no, this is, this is the time to do that. If ever there was a time, it's now. You are correct, actually. <laughs> Ivankov threatens him by saying, I know your secret. I know your weakness. This is implied to be more than just his weakness to water. If you try to do anything to anything against us, I'll tell everyone your secret. There are two warlords down here in the same cell, I just noticed those. Yep. Wow. Interesting. There was potentially three. Ace was offered the position of warlord, but he turned it down. When the hell did that happen? I forget when they tell you, but they tell you that too. Huh. The brace on Chopper's antler is still there, if that's what you mean. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, thank you. I <laughs> Luffy's mom. Okay. Uh, of course it would be you to say that, Bailey. Okay, let, well, we got some characters down here to talk about, so let's get to talking about them. Yeah, the frequent th fan theory is that once Crocodile was a woman, and or maybe was a man and became a woman, thanks to Ivankov, and... Other way around, uh, he became a man. Yeah, well, may have been, been a man once, became a woman, then became back a man. At one point, it's speculated that Ivankov once had him as a woman, and it's theorized... Not exactly sure. There, maybe I was missing the details that actually led Creans to the theory, but that um, a crocodile might have might actually be Luffy's uh, uh, mom because he uh, giving birth when he was still a woman. It's interesting. I'm pretty sure there's more details in there that lead Creans to it that I'm initially being led to believe. But it is a very fascinating theory. I, I will absolutely say that. Guards down here are armored now, which means they take more damage. I think Ace was given the offer right before a Blackbeard fight. That would be extremely funny because it was exactly because of that fight that Blackbeard was allowed to become a warlord. No, that doesn't sound right. Uh, Blackbeard was given the position specifically because he brought them uh, Ace's head, and he only went after Ace specifically. To get that position, yeah. No, he was going after Luffy at first, but Luffy got away oh. because that was because... Uh, he started chasing Luffy when uh, they got to, uh, when they uh, were on Jaya, and when they right. were heading out to Skypea. Literally, they were like, maybe half a mile away on the water, in viewing uh, in viewing distance, to see them get hit by the knockup stream and blasted into the sky. It's like, well, that plan failed. Yeah, true. Now, interesting thing that about, now this is something I learned about literally just last night from watching the anime, so I can contribute to this, yay. Jinbei is down here, I don't remember the exact, I don't know exactly why he's put down here, probably just for some generic unruly behavior, or uh, maybe it's because, because he it's, didn't it's, want to cooperate with the uh, plan. He didn't want to cooperate, he didn't want to take part in the Whitebeard War, so he was arrested. Yeah, so currently Sengoku is trying to get him to change his mind by literally having him locked down here, and is waiting to see if he will cooperate. Uh, I guess that won't end up happening because we're gonna bust him out and anyway, so funny that. It's like I'm fighting the war I'm joining the war on con communism on the side of communism. <laughs> Which absolutely, but yeah. I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Yep. Also Luffy stabbing his eye is on par with Naruto stabbing his hand. What? No. I don't know what the Literally hell you're talking no. about. Also that happened 
It was in, in chapter one of the manga, it's just Luffy's backstory, it's not actually the Alveda Kobe stuff. Uh, he stabs himself in, uh, below the eye to give himself a, sh a scar like Shanks has because Kid Luffy wants to be seen as a man, so he thinks having, having a scar will make him look mature. That is a very thing to, that is a very Luffy thing to do, and a very Kid thing to do, yeah. Naruto did that two years later, stabbed his hand because he wanted to prove that he wasn't afraid. Those are not the same thing in any way. Do not compare them. Yeah, those don't even register on the same level. What the fuck? Naruto Savage and then remove poison. Oh yeah, that's right. I forget exactly who that was up, that was up against. Oh no no no. The, the Demon Brothers. Yeah. Um literally right as soon as uh the Team Seven left to go take take uh do Kazuna. the Zabuz Yeah. Right uh shortly before the first Zabuza fight, right. Yeah. Anyway, I guess Minotaur's back. That's the funny thing about Minotaurus. You were talking about this earlier. Awakened uh, Zoans. Yes, and how this is technically the very first time in theory that we actually see an awakened Devil Fruit as well. I don't know about that, but I feel off. like I can't think of. Well, unless you want to count Eneru, maybe. But Eneru can turn other things into lightning. No, no, he can't. Let's see the that. first one, the first time it's ever mentioned, is in regards to Do Flamingo. Yeah. So Doflamingo is the first one that we know of for a fact. Yeah. And it won't be the last Awakened Zoan. Yeah, we have one now. He's on the crew now. You mean Luffy, right? Yeah. Okay. But no, from what I was reading the wiki, apparently a lot of the jailers down here, they're, they're Zoan types and they are awakened, but a lot of times when Zoans try to awaken, they actually just end up going absolutely insane. So I think these are actually like awakened Devil Fruit users. It would be odd for them to be so weak, but sure, I guess. The the defective ones, I guess you could say, quote unquote. And it, yeah. Also, Chopper's deroids let him awaken briefly. I mean, I guess so. I guess that's technically what uh what the triple rumble ball does. I wasn't aware we were a triple now. Triple rumble ball was what happened when, uh in Annie's lobby when he turned into Monster Chopper. Oh yeah, right. Because it took three of them because one of them and then two of them weren't enough to beat Kumidori. Oh, that- oh shit, okay, so that form would be Awakened Devil Fruit, but it would- would be the backfire one where he's not able to maintain his, uh, intelligence during it, okay. He took, he took three of those pills and so basically he overdosed. Yeah. Oh, you want something very funny? There was a boss fight against Minotaurus proper in the last stage I was doing. I actually killed him as Kid Luffy. <laughs> <laughs> not even kidding about that, it was great. You still do damage like this, you just do reduce damage. Yeah. Yeah, you still have iframes, you're, st you're still able to do damage, so I managed to kill him outright like it, it was great. And then you have, uh, the super boss of Unlimited Adventure is, uh, what they call at the time Rampaging Chopper. There was two in there, I'm pretty sure the other one was Whitebeard, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Those are optional bosses, they have no cutscenes that just... Enter room, start boss fight. Yeah. I feel like there was one more, but I'm pretty sure those are definitely the main two. It's just those two. And they are way harder than everything else, including the super boss. Not gonna lie, those ver those, um, this era of the Straw Hats trying to fight Whitebeard would indeed be the equivalent of kind of like Attack of the Sands, where you, you have a Z Sand Saga Z Warriors trying to fight super, a Super Sand Broly. That would actually be roughly there. Hello, I forgot you were here. Um... What did it say his name was? Hanya Bell. Yeah, Hanya Bell actually gets a cool scene later on. Oh, cool. He gets... He gets a redemptive scene because otherwise he's just a jackass. It's like, if I was the, uh... If I was the warden, I would do things like this. And I would just torture people every day because I think it's funny. And he's also a lazy bastard. He gets a scene later on when, uh, Magellan gets defeated or held up or something. But he's incapacitated for a while. Yeah. Where Magellan says he actually has to rely on him, and so he actually nuts up and tries tries to fight Luffy for uh, and ev and everyone for real, even though he can't. And then Damn. Blackbeard and then Blackbeard comes in and steps on his nuts. <laughs> it's like okay. that was real inspiring. Goodbye. Well, yeah, that checks out. Oh shit! Right, we're about to fight Blackbeard also. Now I think about it. He, no, I mean, they probably do for the sake of gameplay, but yeah, no, I'm pretty sure we do. Supposed to. Literally, Luffy is supposed to walk right past him, saying, I don't have time for you. Well, I guess we'll find out. Hey, 
Can you talk about this? All right. Uh, yeah, here we are. Uh, we're supposed to keep everyone, uh, everyone safe. Keep it, uh, keep the common masses safe from criminals like you. So even if it's my last stand, I'll, uh, I'll still make sure that you can't get away. Balls on this man. Look, he's like, uh, the thick boy. Yeah, here we are. Oh good, I just remember Toei will use Hannibal a lot more in the anime. I mean, he has a few more scenes in the manga, but not really. Hi. In light of his uh, failure after this whole thing is over, uh, Magellan will actually step down as the warden and I think either become uh, a lower rank member or even become a prisoner, I think, huh. willfully because he thinks that everything that happened at Marineford is his fault. For, for his failure to contain uh, the uh, escapees. Oh my god, Solid Snake, really, Bailey? Holy shit. Yeah, Akio Otsuka is uh, Blackbeard. He's also uh, Shunsui. Absolute legend. Goddamn. Yep, boss fight. My memory of this game is totally faulty. Although it's gonna start getting really foggy once I get the Marine Corps proper. I mean, I guess they kind of had to do this because they, yeah. however brief, they did have an altercation because Blackbeard did say that, yeah, what if you want to leave? You want to just ignore me? What if I'm, what if I told you I was the one that brought Ace uh, here in the first place? Yeah. And then Lu uh, Luffy is about to snap shit. And then Crocodile's the one that says, hey, we got to go, dumbass. So very funny thing. Pirate Warriors 2 actually came out, like, I think according to the wiki, less than a year after this game dropped. A year to so the day. So I'm pretty sure that we'll actually get a lot of, like, previews of his actual moveset in Pirate Warriors 2 and 3 in this game here. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, that's like he's a default playable. rush. He's playable in 2. Yeah. In both versions, that no less. Yeah, because they, cause they still don't have a new moveset for him. Nope. Get fucked, idiot. But no, how about the fact that this uh, lumbering idiot is actually probably going to be one of the main final bosses of the entire show? Wow to think, huh? Yeah. I feel so much better now, by the way. Yeah. I love the recycled grunt so much. Yeah, look at those four guys. Yep. I won't blame them too much. Also, I do kind of like the, hell, the the dark filter we put on uh, Magellan when he's in it, along in the cutscene. That's, pr that's pretty neat. <laughs> I was going to say, I think you're trying to run from him right now. It doesn't start until I make this first leap. Then you're going to see that this area with uh, changed out textures is exactly the same as from... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Alabaster. You know, I can kind of see it. A little bit. And we got the random fucking lasers anyway, too. Nice. Those make you trip and fall on your ass, and that's enough time for you to fall behind and get uh, killed. Yeah, I don't know if that Hydra is a one-shot kill, but if it it's is. a continuous hitbox, it may as well be. It is. They didn't show Luffy, uh, Luffy getting rocked by Blackbeard. Yeah, they gotta... Uh, it's in the interest of time, I think. Yeah. Don't fall in the poison lake. Did you mean most lakes these days in the United States of America? Did you know that Impel Down resides in Flint, Michigan? I am not making that joke. Go for it. Did you mean Maui, Hawaii? <laughs> no, but that, that no, too soon. Did I go backwards? Yeah, I went backwards. Uh, almost. Ugh. I will say, it is a little clever having the poison mist actually come out during these platforming sections to that doesn't really punish you outright if you, um... Uh, end up fucking up a little bit and miss timing, but I'm gonna say that it's probably more effective in trying to kill you outright than just falling into pits too often. 
But I was noticing earlier, it looks like the poison isn't scaling based off your HP value, so it might actually just be like one tick per uh, second or something. I think it stops at a certain point. What, poison damage? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not permanent, obviously, but I can... Is yeah. this po poison raining on me or not? Uh... Oh. I was about, Yeah, I was kind of thinking it might happen. Right. Healing. And it's not we don't have Guts equipped to uh, get a 1.5 times attack boost either. <laughs> poison orb. Yep. Or Ah, no, you get these sections. Wait, there's not even fucking anything to grab above, so you know it's gonna be L2 and Archer the whole time. There's one more still coming. <laughs> We're not even seeing the fucking- Oh, Jesus Christ game. We're not even seeing the, the subtitles sometimes because we're actually got the QTs on screen. Anyway, hello, beautiful crocodile outfit. Thank you. This will be helpful. Oh uh, yeah, ain't he a beaut? Yeah. I, I said this before, I'm not usually a fan of all black outfits, but this does go pretty hard. Yeah. Bailey, who here is Nobuyuki Hiyama? Not I me. Can't <laughs> can't immediately tell. Zoro chopped his legs up. Mr. Th really? Borsalino. Borsalino. Uh, what was his? Look at Mr. Three's name. He has an Italian name. Borsalino is um. More so with Kizaru, yeah. Yes. Galdino, thank you. That was close. God, he is yep. doing a thing. He is really doing a thing with his voice if that's actually Nobuyuki Hiyama. Jesus Christ. Looking this up. Yeah, it's him. Uh, you'll. Well, you'll see. Uh, filmography. PA from Yu Yu Hakusho. That's a really good start. Keep going. Uh, Brave series. Uh, filmography. He also played Link in Ocarina of Time. That's a really very funny. Yep. Yu Yu Hakusho. This is my favorite costume in this game, and I'm sad we don't get to actually uh, select it manually. Because I actually think this looks really good. Luffy with uh, the boxing gear. Actual Rock'em Sock'em robot. No, I get it. It's just a callback to the Davy Back fight. The natural <laughs> continuation of it. This is technically. Oh my god. That, huh. Where? Yu Gi Oh! Tetsuo. <laughs> that's uh, true. That's Trudge. Uh, te uh, Tetsuo and Tetsuo are two different names. That is Tetsuo. Does it say Tetsuo Ushio or Tetsuo? Tetsuo Sasaki. Okay, that's not him. It would be uh, Tetsuo Ushio. Shit, okay. Nolan, the Pokemon Advance Challenge. No idea. Oh, oh uh, the Battle Factory guy. Yeah. Air Gear. That's nothing out of the event to keep watching. Wait, no, that's Eureka 7 I'm thinking of. I, yeah. don't, I don't think I've ever watched Air Gear. Yurga 7 is something I also want to watch, too. I've been told it's one of the great modern classics of mech. Yeah, I made it to episode 5 before things slowed down. I lost interest at the moment, so I'm going to have to get back on that eventually. I watched a little bit, I think, through Toonami. Uh, 2004. Naruto should put it in Bondo. I think that's the guy from Revolution. That's the... yeah. The Season 0 Tetsuo. You missed a, p a big one. Well, up here. E oh. Okay. I didn't yeah. know that was Ikaku from Bleach. Okay. Ah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we tap it literally the one, so it'll be fine. Yeah, but it's about number go up. N a big number. It said every other game will reduce the candle wax gloves and boost to a cutscene or only just skip. Yeah. Eureka Sass. Yeah, I've heard that Eureka 7 is really good. As technical as a technical predecessor to uh, G Racco, I also definitely want to see that because it's a lot of the same production team, including Tomino, I think. Wow. <laughs> All I can think of immediately from Yurika 7 is the stupid gif when she says not to come on her, but it's too late and she must accept her fate. <laughs> Bailey knows exactly what I'm talking about. 
Oh yeah, I, I love Ivan uh, Ivan Cop's stupid abilities. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Alex, oh. you don't need to know. If Bailey, if you want to share in the anime chat, by all means do so. Also, Eureka 7 is another case of Johnny Young Bosch and Stephanie Shea oh. as the leads. Damn, I did not know that. Now I do have to keep watching. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Ivan Kov still to this day might be one of the most badass trans icons out there. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. On top of the, you know, Tim Curry. Wait. Well, I was we can put this back together. Dude. His, uh, one of the reasons why his actor was arrested was because uh, they were... Uh, they had Yakuza tattoos. <laughs> trans. Yakuza. Oh. oh my god! <laughs> when you become a trans icon from really good Sloppy Toppy. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sorry, not trans icon, trans ally, but still. All right, so to catch up with the story really fast, yes, we are still going after Ace. Ace has been moved out of the prison, I believe, while Ace, while Luffy was still unconscious. Uh, been moved to the Executioner's platform, and now we have to hightail it over there. But we're also gonna- oh god, the- the cat, Tiny Luffy. No, 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 the, J, the JPEG uh, fucking gills on Jinbei, oh. Oh my god. JPEG Luffy in the background, look at his eyes. Yeah, there's a lot happening. Punch I, it on that. Again, maybe it's just because we're playing on a 4K screen with this upscale vibe. There's yeah. so many imperfections that are just visible to us. See you later, Judo. Yeah, um... Bon Clay. <sighs> What's... Damn it. I know his name. The voice actor? Yeah. It has a Y in it. Is it the same with Frankie? Yeah. yeah. It is, yeah. Uh... Kazuki Yao, thank you, Bailey. I knew it was shorter like that, yeah. Yeah, he's, uh... He's Judo, and he got the- he got to be Bon Clay, and, um... Oda loved his performance as Bon Clay so much that he specifically made a character for Kazuki Yao to have a permanent spot in the cast. That's the entire reason Frankie exists, is for Kazuki- is for yeah. Kazuki Yao to be a be a main cast member because he loved his performance as Bon Clay that much. I can't say I blame him at all. Okay, despite some very phony performances later on and my just loving Patrick Sides that much more, I will say, yeah, yeah, that's fucking good. The last slice yours of mine. Go for it. Okay. <laughs> and this man, this absolute fucking king, stays- I will ask you to wipe your hands first before you start playing though. Yeah, sure. <laughs> stays behind in order to fend off the Marines so that way Luffy and company can make it to Marineford. That's also why Frankie has so many mecha references. <laughs> yeah, Frankie is very gunbuster. Yeah, I can see that. He's basically a giant walking reference to, like, well, not only gunbuster, what do you think about, like... Oh, no, I'm not thinking about it. <laughs> But it well, seems beautiful, so I can't think about it right now. There's a lot of non-Gundam stuff from that time, uh, Rydeen and the like, Ideon. Mazinger! Mazinger. There's also a character later on in Dressrosa that is literally designed just to be, uh, just to be a reference to, uh, Space Runaway Ideon. It's, uh, Tomodo joint he worked on immediately after, uh, 79. Huh. Hang on a sec. 